J.J. Watt, number 99, Houston's favorite son. Tonight, you are going to meet the woman who helped raise him, his mother, Connie. She's opening up about the steps that she and her husband took as parents to help her children succeed. We are still just normal family people, even though he's this crazy phenomenon down here. From the strict upbringing to the moments that helped define J.J. and make him the man he is today, Connie Watt is revealing secrets only a mother could share about raising a superstar athlete and, more importantly, a man of character. If Houston had a royal family, J.J. Watt would be the prince. And his mother, Connie, the matriarch. Was he always just Mr. Perfect? <laughs> No, I can tell you that. Oh, come on, tell us. <laughs> no, no, actually, um, he really was. Our children, uh, you know, I like to use the phrase maintenance free. They really were great boys. The Watt boys were athletic kids. JJ played multiple sports. He also played the role of big brother to his two younger siblings. We had high expectations when they were little. Um, he learned to read when he was four. Uh, we had reading a huge part of our lives, and that together time was awesome. We had chores as a big part of their lives when they were little. They had a chore chart. The Watt household was a strict one. Bedtimes were enforced. And the parenting was hands on. One of the best phrases my husband always uses is, We're your parents, we're not your friends. And as much as you can be that sort of friendship type relationship, you definitely want to be the parent. Family outings focused on volunteering and character building experiences. Connie says those have molded JJ into the man he is today. I have my JJ Watt photo with my son, and I use this all the time when I talk about character moments with my son. And I would always say, What would JJ do? Was that your primary focus in raising your children character-based decisions? It definitely was because there are so many ways whether it's TV shows or whether it's your people friends at school or you know anybody um, other people pulling you at different directions trying to change that view of your character so they learned very early on um, what the expectations were, what consequences were, and how beneficial that character building would be. The Watt family tradition of volunteerism continues today. I met Connie at Minute Maid Park as she prepares for the annual J.J. Watt Foundation Charity Classic Softball Game. Connie is the foundation's co-founder and vice president. I had a couple sleepless nights wondering if I could even be able to handle this. But the foundation has flourished, providing uniforms, equipment, and sports programs for middle schools across the country. That's an age where kids can kind of start being pulled in different directions and um, there's some choices to be made so we try to target the middle school kids and say try everything in the off season you can find JJ back in Wisconsin with his family mom says he's focused on staying grounded even with the non-stop celebrity style attention we are still just normal family people even though he's this crazy phenomenon down That's here. Right. what does he like to do at home what's a down day in JJ Watts life um, basically just hanging out at his property, um, watching TV, uh, working out with his brothers, and we play a lot of cards. Um, Does he have a favorite card game? Rummy. Our oh, grandmother. <laughs> 500 Rummy, my 98-year-old grandmother, still loves to play it with us. <laughs> but for now, Connie says football is JJ's focus. Even if there's a slight distraction now and then in the form of dinner with a Hollywood starlet or million-dollar commercial endorsements. How can you describe your pride for your son who seems to have achieved it all? I haven't found that. I always say there'll be a moment when life calms down a little bit and I will just sit somewhere and put my feet up and probably cry myself to just utter pride. I mean, it's amazing. I had someone come up to me once and tell me that I raised an amazing son and I said, actually, I've raised three amazing sons and what more could a parent want?